sledding? Let's Geo go! With A, B, C, one, two, three, and Do, Re, Mi. There's endless people and places to see. From the classroom, they can search and explore. With every adventure, you learn more. They visit countries near and far. They love to learn wherever they are. They see the world in a brand new way. They make great new friends every day. A, B, C, one, two, three, and Do, Re, Mi. Come along and you will see. The more they travel, the more you know. Get ready, let's Geo go! Oh, aren't they so cute? The cutest ever! Hey, Do Re Mi and One Two Three, what are you looking at? <laughs> Only the most adorable thing ever! Aw, oh, gee, thanks! <laughs> We're talking about the puppies on the whiteboard. Oh! Those dogs are part of a riddle the teacher left for the class. Riddle? You mean? Yep. Time for another game of... Guess, Guess the, the lesson. lesson! The teacher said, At midnight, the sun is still in the sky. Art carved in wood stands many feet high. A sled pulled by dogs is an adventure for all. Climb the highest mountain over 20,000 feet tall. Where in the world is the teacher talking about? Let's search it! There's dog sledding in Maine, Minnesota, Colorado, Montana, Wyoming, and Alaska. Let's see if any of those states have a midnight sun. Alaska! Even though Alaska is next to Canada, it's still part of the United States. Wow! It's so close to the North Pole that in some places in Alaska, the sun never goes down between late May and early August. That's what they mean by midnight sun. Alaska is so big. It's the biggest of our 50 states. To be precise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a fun fact. The three biggest states after Alaska, Texas, California, and Montana, can all fit inside Alaska. Wow, look, this says that the 10 highest mountain peaks in the United States are all in Alaska. And the highest one is called Mount Denali. You're right, it's over 20,000 feet high. Riddle solved. So now that our search is done, it's time for some fun in the midnight sun. <laughs> <laughs> then let's Geo go. Ranger at the Denali Dog Kennels. What brings you to Alaska? The midnight sun, the highest mountain, the tallest art carvings we can find, and a dog sled ride! Chuck! By the way, why did the dog stop in the middle of the road? Because you told them to. I did? <laughs> the word we use to tell the dogs to stop is whoa. Oh! What's the word you use to get them to geo go? There are a few different words people use, but I use this one. Can I say it now? Yes. Hang on tight. Hike! <laughs> this is amazing. Over 3,000 square miles of wilderness is protected inside this park. Cars and motorcycles aren't allowed, so you have to travel by bikes, skis, snowshoes, or my favorite way of all, dog sledding. It's my favorite, too. Hike! Denali is the only national park in America with rangers that are dogs. Oh, these are the prettiest dogs, uh, rangers, <laughs> I've ever seen. They're all Alaskan Huskies, born and raised for thousands of years to run, pull a sled, and live in the very cold winter weather. It doesn't feel very cold. Not now in the summer, but in the winter, temperatures can drop well below zero degrees. <laughs> In the winter, it's colder in Alaska than anywhere else in the United States. 
So, Alaska's not only the biggest state, it's the coldest, too. <laughs> Thousands of years ago, the people who first lived here took their kayaks out of the rivers in the winter and added runners, kind of like skis, so that their dogs could pull them over the snow to their villages. Now, I want you to meet the newest additions to the Denali Kennels. Lucky, Annie, and Polly. Nice to meet you. Huskies have extra thick fur, thick skin on their feet, extra hair in their ears, and a furry tail they use to cover their faces when they sleep to protect them from the cold. She looks like a wolf! Is that because the first dogs who pulled the sleds were closely related to wolves? Yes! Over many generations, they became today's dogs and man's best friend. And do re too! <laughs> <laughs> what other fun things do you want to do while you're here in Alaska? We're hoping to see some tall art carved in wood. Oh, you must mean totem poles. Yes, totem poles. I know just the person to visit in the town of Ketchikan. It has the largest collection of totem poles in the world. <gasps> yes! yes! What an unexpected surprise. I am Pat. Nice to meet you, Pat. Park Ranger Jennifer told us you've been carving totem poles for more than 50 years. Oh my, has it been that long? I suppose when you love what you do, the time just flies by. How long does it take you to carve a totem pole? A 20-foot totem pole like this one might take me a couple of months to finish. How did you learn to carve totem poles? Ah, the art of carving totem poles has been a tradition in my family for hundreds of years. My father taught me. Your family has lived in Alaska that long? Yes. My ancestors first came to Alaska thousands of years ago. Their children, their children's children, and everyone who thinks of themselves as part of their family are called indigenous people. We are part of the Tlingit tribe, one of many different indigenous groups and languages in Alaska. <gasps> is that a fish? It is. Totem carvings often include fish, eagles, bears, ravens, human faces, and even mythical figures. How do you decide what to carve? Each figure on the totem represents a different part of that story. What kind of stories? Come, I'll show you. Here at Totem Bite State Park, there are many different totem poles, and each has its own story. <gasps> They're beautiful! Look at this one. That's the sea monster pole. Sea monster? The story starts with the top figure on the totem. Come on! Okay, we're ready. You are standing on the hat of the village watchman, who stands guard on top of the pole. Under the watchman are two eagles. Under the eagles are faces that stand for clouds and mountains. The eagle's home. Under that is a black fish holding a seal. Figures that represent the world under the sea. And the creature with the big, long beak is the mythical sea monster. Is that who the watchman is standing guard against? It is. The tentacles and the face below the sea monster show an octopus that's coming for the human below. Thank you for showing us these amazing works of art. The artist who made this totem pole was so talented. You're very welcome. And you're right. Art carved in wood, totem poles, check. Where are you three off to next? The highest mountain in the USA. ABC, Tore Me, one, two, three. You're here just in time, and we're almost to the summit of Mount Denali. The very top? Yep. One thing I've learned is just take it step by step. Eventually, you can climb even the highest mountain. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. Whoa! The midnight sun! Go to the top of the highest mountain in the United States? Check! And we saw the midnight sun. Best day ever! Ready? Woody! Woody? Oops! Uh, that's better! What a totally terrific totem pole! Thank you! Another amazing adventure with friends! Check! <laughs> It's time to sing along. 
旺。